Peace and blessings, Your Royal Highness. Welcome back to Royal Giant's YouTube channel. Today, we are vlogging as promised on Instagram. Hopefully, you transitioned over to subscribing to YouTube. Um, but we are currently driving to Atlanta Airport in Georgia and going to pick up our Russian champion. Yes, I said it, Russian champion. So we now have a big boy that is a champ from Russia. Um, he is from Gently Born Kennel. And um, they call him off, but we're going to have to change that ASAP. Um, not sure what we're going to name him, but really excited to meet him. This guy is 100 pounds. 100 pounds. So really excited to meet him and bring him to Royal Giants Kennel and introduce him to the pack. So make sure you subscribe so you can see more about him. But enjoy the vlog of us picking him up. got to the airport we are at Lufthansa Luf, Lufthansa I can't even pronounce it Lufthansa cargo and um, it's like a two-part process of picking up the dog so you got to first go to the cargo wherever the air at the airport that you're picking up the dog from the cargo area of the particular airline then you have to go and basically claim that you're the person picking up. Sometimes you do need a broker. Like I just said, I hope we don't need a broker because that's gonna be a headache. But um, you basically declare, hey, I'm here to pick up the dog. You go to customs, which is usually at another part of the airport. Then you pay a fee, always want some money, even though you didn't pay money to buy the dog and get the dog here. But anyways, you go pay your money to customs. They give you a piece of paper to clear the dog and you come back to cargo give them the paper showing that you paid your money for the uh, customs fee and then they bring your dog out um, hoping that he's not covered in feces and urine because that happens this is the second time that we imported a dog um, and it's it wasn't fun the first time but this time we're prepared we're in our hometown the first time that we imported a dog we were in Miami and in a rental car and that was like really complicated so we're prepared we got the truck um got the truck <laughs> and, <laughs> and <laughs> let's let's go see what's going on <laughs> Pick something up? Yes. Green door. Thank you. <laughs> no, we're not upstairs. Uh oh. Is the oh. green door under the step? Uh oh. See, it's hugging her. I'm doing things. He said green door. That was it. In the truck. <laughs> green door. Where? Maybe here, maybe here. Like Dory Explorer. Oh, this is 
I don't think this is the green door. Why did he put that? Y'all need to get up out of here. Go to the green door. 226. It's upstairs. He's lying. It's got to be. The green door is up here. Here. Oh, there's a whole elevator. There's a brown elevator. <laughs> <laughs> it's the break room. Should we go in that break room and ask? I don't know. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> this is like a scary movie. Okay. This is not the door. So right here. Yeah, I Okay, this is what it usually looks like. I think we, oh, there, there it is. Okay, that's it. that's it. So it was a blue door, not green. Yeah, it was a blue door. Okay, that worked. You're welcome. All right, so where is the dog? Hi, good day. Hi, how you doing? Um, this is Los Angeles Cargo. I am um picking up uh, an animal. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good, thank you. Okay. Let me just clarify the number. Is this a nine nine six nine nine zero three? Yes. Okay. All right, and that address is Tradeport Drive. Yep. Thank you. See you in a little bit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so we wasted about like 20 minutes trying to find the green door when in right. fact it was a blue door. Right. So uh, yeah, that part. So now we're gonna go ahead and go over to Cargo. I don't like that she mentioned this broker thing. I just, what do we need a broker for? All right, so we just pulled up to um, the uh, US Customs and Border Protection. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in here, try and make it work without this broker and not really say anything. Um, because I did it before at a different airport and broker wasn't even like something that was mentioned. So I'm going to try it. And if not, I'm going to have to get the broker. But anyway, so the broker just acts like a liaison um, when you're importing something out of the, from out of the country. It's really stupid in my opinion. Um, but it's just for someone to have accountability over what it is that you're importing. I'm thinking more like so you're not a drug dealer or important dead bodies or something some, something to that extreme because it don't really make sense like if you paying the fee to import what you're importing the dog that's it and they see a live dog so what else is there so anyways we're gonna go in and see what's going on um, and then head back over to uh, the cargo to pick up the dog be right back Oh yeah, and this is a government building, oh, so oh, yeah, yeah. we're not going to be able to report inside, you see? You don't want to be football tackle. Alright, so you're going to need to get a broker. Okay. These are a, a small list of brokers um, that the airlines gave examples of. If you want a more detailed list of the brokers, 
Go to cdp.gov, go to trade, um, choose the state and city, basically Atlanta, Georgia, and it's going to give you the full list of brokers, okay? But you're going to need a, the broker to, uh, to import your dog. It's a, uh, it's a two-year-old schnauzer. You have the uh, entry belt, the dog's passport, all that paperwork? Yeah, they gave it to me. It's in my hand. Uh, you... Okay, cool. All right, um, so I'll just come on over there. Okay. All right, thanks. No problem. So, like I said, it's money. So we pay five grand for this dog, actually more because of shipping. And um, they want you to pay money based on how much you pay for the dog. They want you to pay a fee. Then you want you to pay another fee. So the thing about just everything is money. It's all about money. So, you know, when you're importing a dog, you got to understand that it's not just what you pay for the dog. There's more money involved. And it's so sorry that... Our system is set up this way. It's, it's very unfortunate. Um, you know, they ask you some questions to, you know, see if you, you slip up. They, they it's, it's very wild. It's very wild. You know, they ask you, how long have you owned the dog, right? That's one of the questions they're going to ask you. And then they say, how much did you pay for the dog? But the thing is, is that with these types of transactions, it's all recorded. So why even ask the individual that question? It's all in the documentation that they make you bring and take. And, you know, so it's, it's just very, it's very silly. It's a bunch of time being wasted. And if it's just money, just let me pay $400. That's all you want, right? It's not about making sure the animal is safe. It's not about making sure the animal don't have no disease. They just want the money. So when it boils down to stuff in this breeding business, everything boils down to money. We bought a champion dog, right? We spent damn near probably about seven bands on the dog right not five about seven bands on the whole dog so when we break this down you know people just talk about oh i got a champion and i, I show my dogs it's about money that's it it don't mean nothing so anyways about to get this broker be right back and quick tip do not lie to customs ever yeah don't lie to customs they know everything just tell them move on but the thing is is that it's stupid questions they already know, so why are you asking? So anyways, we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm in a better mood. We are rolling, we got some moving parts. Um, I wish we could have recorded because like, the first dude was such a... Not a good interaction. Um, I can say that, right? Yeah. 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 First dude was at customs. Um, so yeah, then round two, line, going back, right. the second guy was super cool, like, he knew what a rising schnauzer was and was like, oh, you got a bad dog. And I was like, yeah, bad thing. <laughs> so anyways, he was cool, moving parts. And he was like, yep, just go ahead and go back to the um, the airline, to the cargo bay. Go pick up the dog. Right. Pay you a little money. And um, yeah, so we're heading back on the road to go and pick up the dog. And uh, stay tuned. In one mile. <laughs> Oh snap, where's my mask? Where's your mask? It's in my packet. So we're going back to the airline, to the cargo part to pick up the dog. Um, broker made it happen, but like I said, it's money. All they want is money. You gotta pay money for everything you do on this earth. So, pay the money, got the dog, and gotta go pay some more money. Daniel, yeah. uh, you got our little puppy? Puppy. Yeah, we got his dog. I thought, I thought the guy who normally takes him to the uh, thing. Oh, you took one. Oh, you took one? I don't know. I don't know. Look at her. She's like, what? I'm not trying to make you nervous. You're saying little. I'm like, this thing's supposed to be 100 pounds, so. Yeah, I was going to say, both the dogs are kind of. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You said, ain't no little puppy back there. I'm like, I'm not puppy. I'm not a puppy. Yeah. Puppy outside of the cat. Two years. <laughs> well, I don't worry. I understand. He ain't a baby in that breed. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, no. They still got. They got a whole year. It's a schnauzer. A giant schnauzer. They have. A, he has a whole year to still grow. 
Huh? So that man, he might hit like oh. 120. He could be 120, yeah. So wow. you have, you have I'm about to, um, once he gets to two years old, you can start doing workouts. So he about to hit Yo. the gym. Get it's ripped. it's yeah. funny how the pits get fat. Oh, snap. There you go. Uh oh. All right. Thank you. What's the last four? I mean, what's the, the um. The last four? Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Nice little crate, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. You're a special lady. You I like his cut. Yeah, he said that he, uh, yeah, there was, was no sign up. Oh, I thought because it was, I thought it was because it was stapled together. It said something about he TSA. Yeah, right. I, 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 <laughs> you don't know where he at. Okay. You he, need anything uh, else from me? Thank you. It was yeah, a pleasure. Nice. I'll go back over you there. Enjoy your day. Sure. He's from Germany, yeah. right? Sprachen die Deutsch. Yeah, no, he's weird. not from Germany. He's from Russia. I don't know Russian. Oh, I'm sorry. Russia. All right, so can we just roll them on? Wait, where are my trophies at? Where's my trophies? Does she get you to sign her uh, paper? She had me sign. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay. Let's see the trophies. Oh, let me make sure these are things. Thank you, sir. Ooh, these are yep. champ trophies. Ooh. Hey, ooh. He's a champion. All right, you got a champion belt? Hey. Hey. Oh, Ooh. these things are getting bigger. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh. Wow, on that. All right. Wow. Champion. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, we got a champ, y'all. Ooh, we got a champ. Hey, look at all these ribbons. Oh, wow. I'm about to make a whole collage in the kennel. <laughs> look at all of that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys, for being so helpful. Another trophy on us. Mm. You can, you know. Is that cool? I'm gonna yeah. back it up. Actually, a question. Do y'all dispose of these? Over time. Can I'm I saying, can we in? take him and leave this? Can I leave him here? I'm gonna take the dog. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me show this man. It's a dope crate, though. You sure the one to just I mean, take actually, it? No, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. No, don't worry, don't worry. Sure. Thank you. It's just not that. Yeah, I got you. I understand him. <laughs> he looks so nice. Well, we did it. We got it over with. What are your thoughts, your initial thoughts about him? He's dope. Um, his coat is, he got a hard, a hard coat. Yeah, he has yeah, like Garvey a, type for, with the white in yeah, it. Yeah, it's not a soft coat. Um, get him a bath and clean him up it's been a long journey um went from russia to take this thing off or else i went from russia to frankfurt germany for like four days they have a state-of-the-art um animal holding center lounge so i mean that's where he was um he looks nice i thought he would be a little bit bigger in the head but it's still a good head um Def Garvey, Garvey's got him on head, but Garvey is like, damn, like three and a half. So he's two. This is this is black, so he's comparable to black. So size-wise, a little bit bigger than black, I think. But we're gonna put some weight on him. He's a little slim, but I think that's just from his journey and stress. So he looks good. So back at it, we've got the dog. Um, I don't know what the hell his name is gonna be. Um, Maybe you guys can leave a comment on what you think his name will be. We're headed back to the kennels now. Um, probably not gonna introduce him to the dogs at all because I'm sure he's traumatized from however many hours, double digit hours he's done of uh, travel time. So yeah, all is good. Um, that actually took us about, I don't know, we got here at like one. So it took like about three hours, yeah three hours to pick the dog up and uh five hundred dollars later yeah. so anyways um thanks for watching this vlog hope you enjoyed it make sure you like subscribe and comment to our youtube channel um if you want more information on